EPA did wave meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for May 16th, 2024. It is Thursday, and I still have a bit of a cold going on here, so you have to bear with me in this video. I apologize in advance for any mistakes that I make during the video. Uh, Thursday's video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kleckner & Sons Appliances. Family owner, owned and operated, Kleckner & Sons have been serving the Greater Lehigh Valley region since 1945. Kleckner Sons are here to serve your appliance needs at two convenient locations in the Leah Valley, 2177 MacArthur Road in Whitehall and 575 Chestnut Street in Emmaus. The leader in sales and service prides itself in providing outstanding, continuous customer service from the moment the customer steps through the door. Kleckner's provides a wide range of name brand appliances and parts to target all of your appliance needs. They also offer professional delivery and installation options as well as Repair services performed by in-house qualified technicians. From kitchen renovations to small specialty appliances to a new laundry repair, Kleckner's has you covered. For more information or inquiries, please contact one of their showroom locations or check out their website at klecknerandsons.com or give them a call at the phone number above me here in the video, 610-433-4202. Experience a small business difference for yourself. Shop at Kleckner & Sons Appliances, proud sponsor of the Thursday video forecasting. If you can kind of feel that I'm kind of groggy here. Uh, I don't know what I got. It's someone when I was out in Wyoming uh, this past weekend, but uh, maybe trudging through three to four feet of snow in the middle of uh, 10,000 feet probably didn't help. Uh, so we're I'm jumping ahead here, but I'm going to go to, the, uh, to today and show what we're dealing with today. So the same system that brought us a few showers yesterday, at least early on, our eastern areas did get some uh, showers here last evening, and we had to negotiate the Phillies through uh, the game yesterday, which uh, the, the start of it was a little bit a little bit dicey with some rain. But uh, we did get that game in yesterday. Phillies won again, 31-13, and 13, best record in baseball, and I'm loving every minute of it. Okay, so today uh, we have low pressure still sitting offshore here it's very close offshore though and it's kind of sitting and spinning so there will be some wraparound stuff coming in here but i think it's just going to be in our far eastern areas mainly east of the delaware river today but i can't rule out that you have a stray shower west of the delaware river uh during the course of today but most of this activity will be uh, right along the coast here in our eastern areas eastern areas meaning coastal areas of new jersey uh, as the system finally pulls away and in its wake, we're going to have a mostly cloudy skies continuing into Friday. So today, I don't expect much, uh, just a stray shower in the interior, maybe isolated to very widely scattered, very close to the coast today. And that's it. 64 to 75 is a temperature spread today. The 64 is going to be closest to the Jersey Shore points. And then 75 is going to be out in our central PA counties today. And then same thing here on uh on Friday, 67 to 74. Not quite as much of a spread there, so we're narrowing the spread a little bit, but it's pretty much the same thing across most areas on Friday. Mostly cloudy skies are expected to continue. Uh, we have another system coming at us on uh, Friday night. There will be a few showers possible late Friday night into Saturday morning, and that's it. So we're looking at this weekend. A couple days ago, we we're like, ah, we really don't know what's going to happen here. It could be uh, one day, maybe two days that of well, the weekend they're going to be miserable. I don't think it's going to be miserable on Sunday. I don't. Saturday is going to be mostly cloudy uh, with the opportunity for a few morning showers, and that's it. And then after that, it's just kind of mostly cloudy or overcast in the afternoon, and that's it. Sunday, clouds giving way to sun, and it's going to be improving conditions here on Sunday as this system... Uh, moves off to the south. As we get over the NAM high res future simulator radar, I'm sure that's off at 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. So it's, again, Thursday, not really much going on. If I back this up to Thursday, you can see maybe just a few showers in our far eastern areas, and that's it. When we get to Friday, here's the next system coming at us late in the day. It just kind of falls apart. Could be a stray shower as we get in the evening or maybe in part of the overnight. But once you get into Saturday, late Friday night into Saturday, we have some showers working in. This is the max range of the NAM 3 kilometer here, and it shows a few showers here across South Central PA, parts of East Central and Southeast PA as well. As I take this the next frame here on uh, Saturday morning at 11 o'clock, and then we get in the afternoon, this kind of moves off to the south, and that's it. Okay, so when we get to Sunday morning, it's off to the south here. NAM is doing the same thing. The GFS is doing the same thing. The Canadian model is doing the same thing. 
European model led the way on this entire weekend and how it's going to evolve. We are hopeful that the European model is correct with a better looking Sunday. And it does look like that's going to be the case as all models have now gone in that direction with a drier Sunday. Maybe some clouds in the morning to start, but then becoming partly cloudy here later on Sunday with the system off to our south now on Sunday. So um, again, uh, not a bad day at all here on Sunday. So we're going to have temperatures with those clouds in place on Saturday going to be a little bit lower. We're looking at either side of the kind of, kind of like middle, mid to upper 60s for highs here on Saturday. Uh, because even though the showers are just going to be in the morning, you're still going to have clouds lingering through the afternoon. So you're going to have uh, temperatures held into the into the 60s, and that's it. But then when we get to Sunday, temperatures are going to increase here uh, into the at low to mid 70s for highs on Sunday, and then mid to upper 70s here on Monday with another partly cloudy day. A n another partly cloudy day here on Tuesday is expected right here and that is uh the temperature is making you run at the 80 degree mark by the time we get to tuesday so we have a stretch here sunday through tuesday which is rare i know we have a lot have had uh basically rain like just about every single day or every other day for a while now but we have a three-day stretch here sunday monday tuesday we're expecting dry conditions and moderating temperatures by the time we get to tuesday it'll be close to the 80 degree mark across the region and then once we have to get to wednesday maybe 80 or even lower 80s ahead of this cold front, which is going to come through later in the day with some scattered showers and thunderstorms that will go into the evening. It's going to be very late in the day, it looks like, on Wednesday. So we should be able to get temperatures up pretty high before that comes in. And then after that, we do cool down a little bit, uh, but it's going to be uh, dry in the wake of this system here for next Thursday. I'm EPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Marcus. That is your outlook for May 16th, 2024. Have a great Thursday.